Hello. Hello. So recently, thanks to all of you wonderful people, I managed to save and buy the doll's house of my dreams. Yeah. I say saved, it was actually really quite reasonable. It was a uh, £100 and it's in sort of a state of disarray. Some of it isn't quite... Yeah, the roof's a bit... Um, yeah, and think about the roof. doesn't have any original paper and it's sort of sinking. <laughs> yeah, the roof. <laughs> but I am so incredibly in love with it and we thought that we would show you sort of doing the first room, which of course will be the kitchen. Best room. <laughs> so we hope you enjoy and let's see how this goes. Do the doors not open outwards? Mm. No. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, and this bit um, needs. I don't know how to fix that. No. We can see where it's sinking. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, it is um, sinking up here. <laughs> and you can see that the... Oh, you can see just the remnants of the original wallpaper at the top of the upstairs bedroom. Can you put it to look like? It's sort of orange and black. Ooh. And yeah, so they've clearly painted the walls and the floor. They've got some um, herringbone, but it's more modern and it's not in the correct it's all a bit I wonder if oh it does what does that have the original flooring yeah oh is it already damaged though yeah but i can see it in the corner too it's blue it's blue i've never seen blue it's paper yeah oh i wonder if i look more carefully if this one has it too no, this one doesn't have anything underneath it, it's just no. wood. In here you can see, oh, there's a spider. You can see that this room originally had checkers, checkered wallpaper. Did they just paint over it then? No, I think they've ripped it out. Oh. The spider. I'm very sorry, <laughs> Ella, you're going to have to move. <laughs> oh, that's a real shame. You can kind of see what that wallpaper would have been, can't you? It's like an impression. I actually... But, yeah, I think this is the wallpaper they've put in. Yeah, and it's... busted. It's sort of worn away. Yeah, and it and it's like half... They then goes to what looks like... Maybe you can see better through this window. What looks like Christmas wrapping paper. Huh. Yeah, so that's the whole wallpaper. I swear there should be a wall there. Maybe they just delineated it with wallpaper. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not doing that though. Unless I leave that silver. I quite like it. It's very. Um... I mean, it's the best condition wallpaper in the whole house. <laughs> I've bought um, a lot of reproduction paper. Triang. For the triang. Although we don't think this is triang, do no, we? I don't I think I think it might be a another company that was trying to copy them. I don't think it's homemade. I mean you can buy but you could buy these fittings. Mm -hmm. And you could buy these decals. So. I, I haven't seen an, a single other doll's house in my research with a cardboard a roof. cardboard roof. It's mad don't understand. And it would make sense why the, the door handles are like in the middle. <laughs> um, this is a latch. Uh -huh. but then this side is a home cut latch shape oh. out of metal. It's a good noise. It does make a good noise. <laughs> it's under the stairs. There's always something it's under the stairs. It's always something under the stairs. It's a little plastic radio. Oh, I don't know. What does it say? Um, Cleaware. Made oh, in England. Cleaware. I thought this might have been Cleaware furniture. I thought Cleaware furniture was really big. Maybe it's not then. Oh. Oh, well, it has to stay in the doll's house oh, yeah. now. 
It's the era. It's 1940s, mm -hmm. 1950s. <laughs> Cute. So obviously on the bottom, it didn't doesn't have any floors. It's just painted. And these were a bit, there's like holes in them and bits missing. So yeah, I'm going to re-floor all of the floors in the same triangle reproduction. Which is this herringbone parquet? Is it parquet mm -hmm. floor? Which is aged for the nursery, the upstairs, the master bedroom and the living room. And then for the kitchen, we are going to use the brick that we bought for the 1920s Dell's house before. That we didn't use. Yeah. You can do it in the garage too. I can do it in the garage yeah. as well. Yes, we haven't shown this Dell's house as a garage. So that will be the kitchen. Brick. And I think for the kitchen we went with the classic Holly, holly. triangle wallpaper. I love the Holly triangle wallpaper. And some could argue it's Christmas, but yeah. they had them. You know, yeah, those houses. Yeah. And I yeah, and we think it will look really nice. Oh, great. It will. It will look amazing. And with yeah, cream coloured kitchen furniture I have. Yeah, that's exciting. So that's the kitchen. The white bits. Having slight struggles with the brick <laughs> flooring, <laughs> with the mixed hallway and kitchen and staircase. Oh no! Before I do that, I should. <laughs> How are we supposed to do that? So furniture wise for the kitchen, I think I have the most furniture for my kitchen. Yes, you have a lot of furniture for your kitchen. I love kitchen. So I've got this little dresser, which really goes with the colours of the doll's it really house. It does, that was in my doll's house for years. But... Yeah, that mum has given, very kindly given me, goes very well. And then I also have this one that mum very kindly give, has given to me, different era again, but it's a tin. And it's so beautiful. It's got all the little. I think it might printed. be called Brim Toy. I'm not sure yeah. if it's Brim Toy. It's made in England, though. Yeah, so it's made in Britain. Again, that sort of cream colour. <laughs> and then, as you've already seen, the sink <laughs> and the oven that we got out of that unboxing. They all go really well. They all do go really well. It almost feels like I need a cream table. That one I think might be... Oh, got this beautiful table. This sort of mottled top. That might work. I've got this one which I really like the leg. But it is red. It might be too small. And then this beautiful round one, which has a painted rose on top. Again, that's a, that's a make, but I yeah. can't remember. <laughs> and then I've got lots of chairs. I think I might go with these Yeah, ones. they look quite good with this, the round one. Yeah, with, for the kitchen, these little ones, because they're small. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 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 um... <laughs> I think furniture wise that might be it. We don't really need anything else. No. And then I have a lot of little things for the yes. kitchen because they're my favourite. So I've got a couple of new, I bought some new things because I really wanted some of these and to get old ones of these is very, very expensive. So I bought three tiny little copper jelly moulds and they are very shiny. They are very shiny. 
But yeah, I absolutely love jelly molds. I'd love an animal shaped one. Mm. Are they for the wall or putting on the dresser? I I don't know. Annoyingly. They don't quite fit, do they? We could go on top. We could go on top. What do they look like on the wall? <laughs> Maybe they should go on the wall? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, so obviously, we've shown these. We also got these in a box. Um, some eggs and some carrots that go with my country kitchen theme. It looks so good. Uh, the same as the bag of wheat and the beautiful, which you all very sensibly, of course, told us that these two jars were the round things <laughs> missing from this. And, and I love this, but I don't know if it's going to be too big. I really hope it's not because I think it really goes. You've got another bowl of eggs here. I have so many eggs. <laughs> um, yeah, I. This I remember I had when I was little, which is probably why it's so very, why it's missing eggs. <laughs> but I remember this very vividly from my childhood. I think it was an item that I loved from your doll's house when you let me have. And then I proceeded to uh, lose some of the eggs. <laughs> oh, gosh. Talking of lost eggs, where's the egg that goes in the egg cup? That's a, a glass. Oh. This is the egg cup. Has it got the egg in it? Yes. Oh, oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> Mum asked where the egg for this egg cup went but that is a chalice this is the egg in the egg cup which is significantly smaller yeah they, they like their eggs which is okay because we haven't shown yet but i have um, some uh the, the, the animals that will have made those eggs um the, oh gosh. this wonderful walnut teapot with painted flowers. Which again, I think, did you give me when I was little? Which is why it's a bit... Mm -hmm. But it's absolutely... I mean, it's massive. It's so very not in scale, but, oh, but I don't even cute care. I know. Yeah, I don't even mind. Um, bucket from one of the unboxings. These I found at our local market in a little box of... I'm not sure they're Doll's House, but... Uh -oh. <clears throat> I'm not sure if they're supposed to be Doll's House, but they open their little pot, wooden, little wooden painted pots, and I just. You're, you're building quite a nice diorama there. I know, I am, <laughs> yeah, which we'll obviously have to take out. Um, all the wooden bowls that were from the unboxing. Um, two. <laughs> These are also new purchases. Two ceramic mixing bowls like the ones we sometimes find bits of. And I want one of those giant ones for my real house one day. Basically what my doll's house is for me is um, building the sort of kitchen I would like in my house one day. Um, oh yeah, I um, completely ripped off mum at this thing and bought myself one of the tiny Taylor and Barrett cats. It's a much a better basket. edition than mine. A little lead one. It is. I did offer to swap, but... Yeah, but it's, it makes more sense. It looks brighter in yours. <laughs> it goes very well. Oh, well, she. He, she. It was a she, because she had kittens originally. Mm -hmm. We saw one, didn't we? Yeah, with all the kittens. We went to a toy fair and, yeah. <laughs> may have bought quite a few little things. Maybe, yeah, just the, all from like the one, one stall. Yeah. The amazing basket of vegetables that... Oh, <laughs> it looks very good. <laughs> um, this I bought at um, our local market earlier this week. Some other bits. And it's just a little of copper brass cauldron no i don't know what it is but i'm excited it works well it's not enough room um we've got a little blue and white dish with a um windmill on from 
one of our local shops has antique shops has little pound drawers and they do get quite a few little bits from there um, good. some more copper dish of some sort um, blue and white bowl lots of crockery and lots of mismatched crockery which goes with the whole cottage theme giant plaster bread that mum gave me oh five euros is that does that say five euros how long have you had this hmm. you didn't pay five euros for it um, a couple of plates of food but all different different meals although actually mainly meat and greens and all there's um plastic but old plastic um paper and what's this plaster so three different types there not sure how you use them no um <laughs> tiny little is this lunby what's this uh i think that's barrett but modern modern well not modern my and it, era. is it a cake it's, or is it meat it, it's a it's a side of beef it's a side of beef <laughs> i always thought it was like a roly-poly when i was little side of beef that was actually mine when i was tiny ah. is this the same as this this chicken that chicken wasn't mine no oh. <laughs> but is it but the, it's same probably the same yeah some chicken which it's a bit sad with all the um <laughs> the additions that we the, will show the occupants that are going to be around it's going to be a bit um but there's a chicken on the side um Oh, that's what they would have done. I know. Um, a little <laughs> frying Swish. pan with... Put it on the oven so it looks like. Um, sausages and eggs or bacon. Here's the oven. I've got various baskets. So I might use some of them in the kitchen. Not sure. I'm thinking I might put this tiny little vintage tin clock on the wall. Food. Oh, <gasps> a jelly. This I think is something else that was in your doll's house. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've always we've, st we've spoken at length about our love of doll's house <laughs> jellies. So yeah, very excited to have that. It's um, quite a good mix of old and new. It, it is, yeah. Um, well, not old. I mean, vintage and yeah. new and yeah. old. Um. Tiny, tiny little blue and white speckled enamel cup, which I love, which was in your doll's house. Didn't there used to be a teapot, oh, teapot with it? No. No? No. Um, You've got this cup. And yeah, that cup says Tracy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one of the people that lives there could be called Tracy. And I don't know if that will be, like, in the living room for a tea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. More wooden bowls, two Goblet. wooden floral plates, which I might put on the wall. Um, yep, a goblet, <laughs> not an egg cup. And then <laughs> a big, well, it's, it's tiny, but for them it's quite big reef. But I, I might want to use it. I might um, go about making some tiny mushrooms. What, in the kitchen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On it. I think on the wall, maybe next to the stairs. Nice. Yeah, sort of a natural. Lots of wicker and wood <laughs> in this doll's house. Now you've got to put it all in the kitchen. Yeah. Now you've piled it all in front of the kitchen. Yeah, and it looks lovely. <laughs> okay. Go on then. <laughs> um, it's yours to play with. <laughs> um... I'd suggest that you make up the dresses before you put them in. Oh, okay. We didn't bring any tack, did we? No, so you have to do it very carefully. Okay. So I quite like these pots, I think, would look cute. But not the basket of eggs, or will they go on this other one? No, it's your doll's house. You I know, have to do it's it. really difficult. You have to do it. So that would look quite nice in the middle. No, I'm not saying no, anything. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that you... not saying anything. I like that... Yeah, should I... Let me see how the jelly moulds look on the wall.
So now I have to... Where am I putting this? I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere in there. <laughs> Very carefully. Have I made it too tall? Kettle doesn't, the teapot doesn't fit. Does it fit on this one? Oh look, it fits on there. It looks quite cute on there. Oh yeah, that's cool. So you could go and oh oh, what's the light? Oh, the light. <laughs> go for the back on that one, yeah. I think so. Yes. Very high to the ceiling. I know. Um. Sink next to it. Sink here. Where you put the other dresser in the oven? You're running out of space. I am, but um. It's such a confined space. <laughs>
Like it's also, a farmer kitchen. I might steal one of the uh, one of the loaves of bread that Fairy Acorn made. Yeah, I need uh, yeah, the bread. Yeah, I need some cheese too. I like it. I like it. It needs more, but I'm pretty. I think it's cute. It's sort of what I had in mind. Yeah, because you were worried that it wasn't going to work. Weren't yeah. You? So there is the kitchen. We hope you enjoyed. We enjoyed doing it, although we'd forgotten how difficult it is to wallpaper a oh, doll's I house. Hate it. And I'd forgotten how much I get in my head about arranging rooms in dolls' houses. <laughs> but I am happy with the outcome. For the next two weeks... You do we need are... a fridge, though. I do need a fridge, although I don't know where I'm going to fit it in. No. <laughs> for, for the next two weeks, we are going back to crafting, and we are doing two weeks of Halloween crafts. Because me and Mum absolutely love Halloween. Yeah. So we're going to be making some Halloween dolls... And then somewhere for the Halloween dolls to live, which we are very excited about. So we hope you have a wonderful week until then. Thank you, as always, for every like, comment and subscription. And we will see you soon. Bye! Bye.